Welcome to Old Foster, everyone. It's our food festivals and fun are just footsteps from Niagara Falls. I'm Ryan Cole, general manager of the Conference of Niagara Falls. Both are health facilities. It's so nice to have all of our friends here as we prepare for the festive 2013 summer season on Old Falls Street. Old Falls will be the welcome center in Niagara Falls this year as it offers world class entertainment for both residents and for tourists. Thank you to Mayor Deister and other city administrators who are here today, as well as representatives from USA Niagara Falls Corporation and our Niagara Falls stakeholders. We also would like to thank the media, our sponsors, our collaborators, and everyone who's going to make our daily and weekly activities here on Old Falls Street special and so well rounded this season. It's going to be enjoyable for our guests throughout the entire season here on Old Falls Street. With that, we'd like to introduce our mayor of Niagara Falls. Mayor Paul Dyser. Thanks, Ryan. I think anyone who's been tracking the trajectory of Old Fall Street and the downtown uh, redevelopment in general knows uh, the very strong role that our events-based strategy here on Old Fall Street has played in this, uh, like that, what I think is already a successful event. We're really just getting started uh, here uh, downtown. Uh, we're proceeding this year under some difficult circumstances. I think we're all aware that the delay in the delivery has uh, stressed the city's finances and made it very difficult for the city to participate in the same way that we did in years past in uh, the promotion of events. Uh, I'm very gratified that a variety of partners have uh, stepped up to the plate and uh, joined Brian and his crew at Global Spectrum in order to put together what looks to me uh, like a very vibrant, very balanced uh, program of activities. Uh, you know, I, in particular, I uh, want to thank uh, the folks that are putting together the musical events that are bookending the uh, summer season. Uh, the folks who move the Main Street Music and Arts Festival now downtown. Watch out, world is here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. I need to remember meeting and taking pictures with Walter C. Falls. Walter was with us today to my right. This fox has become a fan favorite at our special events, so be sure to post your pictures with him on Facebook, especially on our old Falls Street Facebook page. So, we've invited all of you here today to hear about what we have planned for summer in 2013. We're excited to have new programming to complement our existing. One of our most exciting new highlights is the new Wi-Fi campaign. Our Wi-Fi campaign, that's right, we asked us a complete answer. Well, Fall Street is collaborating with our friends at the Comfort Inn and the Maid of the Mess to bring Wi-Fi to our daily vending area closest to Niagara Falls State Park. We're adding more umbrella tables to the patio adjacent to the Comfort Inn for a comfortable place to sit, eat, and serve the earth. This year, Old Fall Street also has a freshly unified book for our vending services. As you sure you have not noticed yet, you will notice that each of the bank vending cards has been graphically redesigned and helps brand our professional food service on the street. Speaking of professionals, I'd like to introduce you for the first time to our new Old Fall Street sous chef. We're proud to welcome this summer Chef Kate Elliott. Kate Elliott is a two time Nickel City Chef competitor. Her culinary experience is well known in the Western New York region. Chef Kate has created innovative food menus that are going to appeal to a wide range of residents, visitors, and downtown Niagara Falls employees. Chef Kate, would you like to start off? So I just want to tell you a little bit about what we're hoping to do with the food tip this summer on Old Falls Street. Basically, what we've done is we've created a new and fresh menu, hopefully, one that can appeal to tourists, it has global influences, several vegetarian options, which I think can only lend to the memorable experiences that they're already creating here in Niagara Falls. Another thing we are doing is kind of upping the ante on the local food scene. We've reached out to some uh, Niagara County farmers and we'll be sourcing from them for Old Fall Street whenever possible. Um, the other thing in terms of um, working in the local movement, we've invited um, several local food trucks to come and vend on Mondays and Tuesdays. 
We'll have Ooh La La, we have Amy's truck, and we also have Moving Buffalo. And they will be here um, on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then our Old Falls Street vending will be Tuesdays through Sun or Wednesdays through Sundays. So I look forward to meeting all of you today. I look forward to your comments, I look forward to your feedback, and I'm looking forward to a very exciting summer. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Sue Swikowski, I'm the marketing director for Old Falls Street, and we have more than just food for the summer. We're also featuring new music programming on Sunday afternoon when Happy Sundays is added to our programming lineup. This series, presented in partnership with the Niagara Fine Arts Program, moves on to Old Fall Street for the first time this summer. With the help of our series sponsor, the neighboring legend Bar and Grill. Held on our middle block, this series features regional live music ensembles playing jazz, Dixieland, and songs from the Great American Songbook. Right now I'd like to introduce you to Chris McKendrick, a representative from Legends Bar and Grill, to release the series lineup. Chris? Thank you, Sue. Legends Bar and Grill is proud to sponsor this new eight-week series to bring a new genre of music to Old Falls Street throughout July and August this year. We're looking forward to hearing the following band. Saxophone July 14th, Dan Hall and Friends, Tom's Circle of Friends on July 28th, The Barroom Buzzards on August 4th, The Ralph Fave Trio on August 11th, The Easy Street Big Band on August 18th, and The Dave Siobhan Quartet on August 25th. As always, Legends Bar and Girls Patio will be open during this time. And Old Paul Street will also be featuring their new food, beer, and wine vending on the middle block. On a special note, Jazzy Sundays is a leash pet friendly event. So for those of you who would like to walk your dog to Niagara Falls State Park, you will now have an additional place to enjoy time with the rest of the world. Thank you. I'd also like to add that Jazzy Sundays is collaborating with Encounter Niagara's historical reenactors who are here with us today. Guests will enjoy mingling with Niagara's most infamous characters, including Nikola Tesla, Annie Edson Taylor, Augustus Porter, who's with us today, the great Blondin, and many others. In addition, we are also working with this wonderful group on Wednesday afternoons to complement Old Fall Street's lunch hour. I'd now like to bring up Dan Mezer, Old Fall Street's special events manager, to talk about a few other new activities on our street. Backyard board games to our middle block. As you can see here, we have a uh, Connect 4 set, which will be better in a few days. We have our new life size checker set, and we also have our life size Jenga here on the, on the two blocks. Uh, for guests who want to be more of a low key, they can borrow one of our regular size chess and checker sets and decks of cards that we'll have at the old Fall Street Wi Fi Cafe. Uh, returning to the summer lineup, we have our Ride Niagara bike rentals uh, available every day on Old Fall Street for guests to explore the state park on two wheels. Uh, definitely a family friendly event. Thursday nights, we're going to continue our Flicks on Old Fall Street movie series. Uh, the movies go, they begin in July and August every Thursday night at about 9 p.m. Uh, prior to the movies, we'll have a lot of new entertainment as well. Uh, the eight week movie series is starting on July 11th with last year's highest grossing films, including uh, The Hunger Games, July 11th. Rango, an animated film with the voice of Johnny Depp on July 18th. The original Lion King, July 25th. The 2011 version of The Muppets on August 1st. Everyone's favorite musical, West Side Story, on August 8th. And Iron Man, Friends Come to Town as the Avengers come August 15th. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure on, the 20, Adventure on the 22nd and Ghostbusters on August 29th will end the season. Uh, moving on into the weekend, Old Fall Street will once again be partnering with Legends Bar and Grill for our Fridays on Old Fall Street. Uh, this is a nine-week concert series every Friday in July and August starting at 7 p.m. and going through 10 o'clock at night. And to introduce the summer lineup, uh, Benny Beblock was the general manager of Legends Bar and Grill. Hello everyone. Thank you, Brian. Well, staff at the uh, Conference Center Niagara Falls for the opportunity for this event, as well as the uh, Niagara Fine Arts Program. The Legends Bar and Grill is happy to come on board once again with the sponsor of this year's Friday on the Falls Concert Series. We're looking forward to partnership with the Niagara Fine Arts Program. We're looking forward to seeing everyone on the Falls Street with this awesome lineup. The series starts July 5th with Christina Casodi, Triad on July 12th, Fabulous USA Band on July 19th, The A List Band on July 26th, White Chocolate Band on August 2nd. 
the sole provider of the tonight, Stone Road, August 16th, and Lakeside Blues Band on August 9th. After the fireworks, remember to keep the party going by joining us on our patio on Lake Road. We're looking forward to seeing everyone here this summer. Thanks, Benny. What an incredible lineup, daily and weekly activities. What did you say? That's not all. We've got a great schedule of special events this summer. Not to mention <clears throat> first, which is Niagara Falls Music and Art Festival. But that's I'd like to introduce Rick Brogan. Rick is the festival chairperson. Rick, you want to come up and say a few words? Um, on behalf of the Niagara Falls Music and Art Festival, we are happy to relocate on Old Wall Street. This event is June 28th, 29th, and 30th. It's 29th and 30th located on Old Wall Street. We hope that this festival grows in attendance larger and larger each year here on Old Fall Street. It's a perfect venue and a place to bring both friends, residents, and visitors to the area and experience world-class entertainment. Here's just a hint of what you can expect throughout the weekend. We have more than 52 local, or local artists displaying their work throughout Old Fall Street. We have 42 bands on the main stage. Joe spot is sponsored by Joseph Pony Main Stage, an indie stage located at the beginning of the entrance to the park, and the acoustic stage located on this street in the Argus Gallery. Um, we have more than three dozen food vendors that are anticipated 15,000 people we expect over the weekend, with it being a Canadian holiday and the 4th of July week. The festival runs every day from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Awards are going to be announced on Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock on the Joe Ciccone main stage. So please mark your calendars and be prepared to spend the last weekend in June on Old Fall Street. For artists and bands, you can go to our website, which is www.festival at Falls. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. We're so happy to host the Niagara Falls Music and Art Festival on Old Fall Street this summer. What a wonderful event to have the weekend before Canada Day and for Independence Day. Other special events I want to talk about today kick off this Saturday. We're pleased to offer the 5th Annual Downtown Niagara Falls Business Association's 5K Run. It's a run with the Rapids, which is held this Saturday in the 18th, though there's still time to register if you haven't. On-site registration for this USA Track and Field sanctioned race begins on Wall Street here at 7.30 a.m. The race, the shotgun is at 9 o'clock. Proceeds benefit the Downtown Business Association, the after party will feature live music from our local favorite, Jamie Holgoff. We'll have a gift back, a skip raffle, as well as a barbecue buffet, beer, wine, and soft drinks following the race. Anyone wishing to participate can do so by picking up a race notification or in person on Saturday. If you don't want to run, you can come down and just enjoy us for the 10 party. Because immediately following the 5K run, the DNFBA is proud to welcome the American Cancer Society's annual Relay for Life fundraiser which will be held on Old Fall Street for the first time this year. The Relay for Life will be held from noon until midnight with various entertainment throughout the day. Other special events throughout the summer include lectures and book signings. Another new feature on Old Fall Street Wi-Fi Cafe is a series of lectures and book signings that include Jennifer Farr Davis, a nationally renowned hiker, who will be leading a group in the Niagara Falls State Park with lecture to follow on June 19th. Chris Steinoff, the Niagara Falls City historian and co-author of the Niagara Falls 1850 to 2000 on August 21st. More lectures will be announced throughout the summer. The Niagara Falls Fire Department motorcycle run will be on June 22nd. Now in its eighth year, the after party will grow and continue with numbers, and those proceeds benefit the Niagara Falls Firefighters Christmas Toy Drive. Touch a Truck, which is sponsored by Key Bank. This is the fourth annual family friendly event, which will be held in the afternoon on August 10th. It will allow children to interact with larger than life maintenance and allow city vehicles, police, firefighters to participate in activities. This free event is sponsored by our friends at Key Bank on Pine Avenue here in Niagara Falls. And then the sixth annual Niagara Falls Blues Festival. Toby, you want to come up and say a few words about your event? Well, good afternoon. It's kind of windy, but Muddy Waters said that wrote a song called Blow Wind Blow, Blow My Baby Back to Me. Well, we're going to bring the Blues Festival back downtown here again for the sixth annual. I'd like to thank uh, Ryan and the whole crew here at the conference center. They do always do a great job for us, and uh, it, it's so happy to, to have people like that to work with them. Anyways, uh, this year we're, we're featuring the legacy of the Imperial Garage. If it wasn't for this old Imperial Garage many, many years ago, 
there would be no blues festival. And the reunions through the years brought this, what we have today, from a, a humble beginning over on Third Street, and the mayor over there, he believed in this, and Sam Pichon believed in us, and they all believed that something could happen. Guess what? It happened. And this will be, like I say, the, the sixth annual, and I hope many more. I, I don't know how long I can do this, but long as the health is there, we're going to carry on. This year we have, uh, uh, on uh, Saturday night, we have Eddie Clearwater. Eddie the Chief Clearwater is from Chicago. He played at the old Imperial Garage many, many years ago. And also we have the Sauce Boss. Uh, I don't know if you know too much about the Sauce Boss, but he's going to do a thing on Sunday, cook gumbo on stage. And then on Friday night we have uh, Mississippi Heat, another Chicago band, with female artists, by the way. My daughter said, let's get some more females into this Blues Festival. So I did. And so Saturday night is going to be a real treat. We have a girl named Cheryl Arena. She's from Dallas, Texas. And she's a harmonica player. There's not too many women harmonica players in this whole country of ours, but we got one coming here on that weekend. So listen, I, in market where we're doing it on uh, Labor Day weekend this year, so it's a little different. We're not competing against other blues festivals. We're not competing against the Buffalo Bills. And so that's why we were to try something a little bit different. But I, I hope everybody enjoys and everybody is with us to make this thing a success. I know that there's a lot of people out there are excited and also I gotta remember, we're all volunteers to make this thing a success. Thanks very much. Other returning fall and winter favorites include Old Fall Street's Oktoberfest on October 12th, Fast Smash Breakfast on October 26th, the annual Italian Feast on November 14th, the relighting of all the 96 trees along Old Fall Street, Stuff of Us, Breakfast with Santa, and we'll continue to add the rock band as Please make sure to bring the schedule back with you to see how the Fall Street 2013 will evolve. We don't think we have a fun fill of the year this year. Pretty fun stuff coming to downtown Niagara Falls. We hope to see you again as we strive to make Old Fall Street the place to be for food, festival, and fun this year. For more information on any of our upcoming programming, stay connected on fallstreet.com, follow Twitter on Old Fall Street, tweet, or on facebook.com slash Old Fall Street. Thanks so much for coming down, spending the afternoon with us on Old Fall Street. Keep us in mind we're looking for a special place for lunch to spend some quality time with your family and friends. Together, we are bringing exciting things to downtown Niagara Falls, and we at Global Spectrum couldn't be more proud than the host of here at Old Fall Street USA. Thanks everyone.